In this video, I want to show you how you can use an AI program called Midjourney to speed up your design and development process in your Power BI reports. I want to show you how you can use it to get design ideas for your Power BI reports and dashboards. And I'm also gonna show you how you can use it for other things, like how I used it to create and design my own logo. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernan, and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel, where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when new one is out. So artificial intelligence has started to become a big thing in the recent months. And in fact, I covered an AI program recently called ChatGPT, which you can use to speed up your development process in Power BI. So today I want to cover Midjourney, which is another AI program, which instead of generating text, creates designs and images. So let me show you. So the first thing that you need to do is to create or sign into Midjourney here on their website. Sign up is free and doesn't take long at all. However, once you're in it, it will take you to a Discord page which is a, a sort of a messaging platform similar to Skype or Slack. So from here, you either click sign in or join in the beta. So this is what you'll click. Normally it will take you to a sign up page where you will have to put your email address, uh, username and password. I've done that already, so it's not prompting me anymore. So I'm gonna say, in this case, accept invites, which will take me to Discord. So this is the Discord page where you can start creating your uh, AI images. Now, I'm, we're gonna go through it together. There's also a quick start guide if you want to know how it works. However, we can just go through it today. The first thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to look for any newcomer room. So it will be tagged here as newbies. So if you click on one of them, it will just give you a chat like this and you will see that it will start to generate a bunch of different images that other people have requested for. So to get started, we're gonna start by typing in the message here, slash imagine. This is the prompt to create uh, AI images. And then when you hit space, it's gonna ask you to write some prompt values. So which is what you will use to type the description of the image that you want. So uh, let's just say, let's just add some keywords here that we want. So in this case, we want to see if we can create some AI generated images for a Power BI dashboard for, uh, let's say a HR dashboard. So I'm gonna type Power BI dashboard, human resources, bright colors, professional. So a bunch of keywords that we want the design to incorporate. So if you hit enter, you will see that the job will start and you just need to give it a few minutes. It doesn't really take too long, so we'll give it a bit of time to complete. Now that the job is done, you can see that what it, here's what it's created. So it's created a few different variations of a design for a human resources dashboard, which I think the design of these are not really bad. They're actually really, really good designs. So from here, now that it's popped up, you'll see that you have a few options here. So you have a U1 to 4, which allows you to select. So one is on the top left, two, three, four. So U stands for upscale and it allows you to select one variation here and upscale it, giving it more detail and a larger version of that image. You have the rerun button here, which simply just reruns the job so that you have different results. You also have the V1 to V4 here. So same deal, one, two, three, four. So if you like a variation in this uh, list that you have, you can choose one and Midjourney will redo the job for you with that same variation in mind. So you can expand on one design that you like. So let's go through it together. So let's say, we have a look at this and we like this design on the bottom left and we want something like this, but we want different variations of this design. So we're gonna choose V3 and 
and we'll give Mid Journey a few minutes to complete the job. So it's completed the job using that same design, generating multiple variations of that for you to choose from, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, let's finish this off. Let's just try to upscale one of this just, just to see if we can get more detail. So let's say we like the first one here on the top left. So I'm going to say, give me an upscaled version of that top left. And here we go. So because we asked for it to upscale that variation, it's created a, a more high quality version of that with more details, which is exactly what we wanted. Unlike chat GPT though, this isn't a completely free service. So when you generate images for the first time, it automatically signs you up to a trial with Midjourney, which lets you request about 25 jobs before you need to subscribe to a paid plan. So you will know how much you have left by typing slash info. So you'll see here, it will tell me that I have a trial and I have 15 minutes left to use, um, which means I can generate just about 16 images left in my trial, which after you've gone through the 16 images, it will ask you to subscribe to a paid plan. So Mid Journey is good if you want to sample visuals because it produces some really good designs that I think look really eye-catching. However, while the designs look brilliant, if you look at these closely because it's a dashboard that is designing and it's not something abstract, a lot of the stuff in the page itself will be gibberish. So it's good if you want to get some inspiration for a design, if you're looking for one. I've also used Mid Journey to give me some inspiration to create the new logo of my company, which replaces the original Parbay logo that I've been using for a very long time. I gave it some keywords like professional, Power BI, consultancy, and it gave me this selection. Uh, I have a few variations here and I like the one on the top right. So I said, can you generate me a different version using this variation and it gave me this group. So, so I like this design and the different variations that it generated. However, using this design as it is didn't seem right to me. And if you look at some details closely, you will see that a lot of them don't make sense. So I took the rough outline of the image, created my own, added my own colors. And after hours of following tutorials online, I managed to create one that I'm happy with. So as you can see, the possibility with AI is endless and it's great for getting ideas or inspirations, at least for Power BI anyway. It's interesting that this program was built on top of Discord because it lets you see some of the creative work that other people have used Mid Journey for. So different things like illustrations, design, and best of all, all of it is original. And that's really it for this video. I hope this was a good short intro to Mid Journey and how it can help you get some designs and inspirations around Power BI or anything in general. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you liked this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access demo files and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.